everyone, this is Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, ready to do the March readings for all the zodiac signs. Please keep in mind that they are general readings, so just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Also, I want to say thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and sh um, shared my channel. Thank you so much. Keep it coming. And uh, mid-February readings, I did mention um, anyone that has any type of um, creative side to them, uh, drawing, painting, no matter what it is, to uh, please send me your artwork. Um, Line and Owl is the theme for Strength and Wisdom Tarot. I would love to fill that wall up. So, this is going to be a reading for Taurus. And without any further ado, let's get started. We're going to do the Celtic Cross as usual. Okay, Taurus, interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. And this is communication, whether it be by email, um, text messaging, Skyping, um, so forth. It's fast communication that uh, comes in and comes from you as well. So it's a back and forth type thing. Um, could be internet. So, communication, Taurus. What signifies you in this Celtic cross is the Six of Swords. And this is a card of going to calmer waters, leaving a situation, something that didn't serve you anymore, and moving on. The boat is full of swords, and we, we know that the swords are our thoughts. And you're moving away from this, this situation, whatever it is. Now, what crosses you, what either helps or hinders you, is the Five of Cups. And this is mourning over a loss. This guy can turn around and see that all is not lost. He still has two cups. But he's so focused on these three cups that he doesn't even realize that they're there. I've always called this all is not lost card. And it's crossing you. So Taurus, are you moving away from a situation that just doesn't serve you anymore and you're mourning it? The end of something. Now, with this card, too, is that there's nobody else in this picture. It's just him. So this is somebody that's doing this mourning process alone. There is no one to help him. Let's see. In your foundation, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, Taurus, you're a Earth sign, as well as Capricorn and Virgo. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all of them. But he's steady. All the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed. And as he goes, he makes sure, he makes sure that everything is done the way it's supposed to be done correctly. What's crowning your reading, Taurus, is the Eight of Swords. And this is being in your head. She can easily walk through the swords. She can take the blindfold off. She put herself there. So Taurus, this is you being in your head. And when I look at this card, maybe start off with one sword. Overanalyzing something turns into another sword, turns into another sword, turns into another sword, until all of a sudden you're just entrapped by all these thoughts that are just manifesting. And this is probably something that was in your past. 
that you just you can't get over. The mourning process. Now, Taurus, what we have in your recent past is Major Arcana, the Emperor. And he's all about stability. He's about structure. He's an older gentleman. It could be a he or she in the reading, doesn't matter. Okay, who's been there and done that. Learned from it and has progressed. He's the king of all kings. Okay, he also sets boundaries. He lets you know what you can cross, if you can cross them at all. What we have going into the future, Taurus, is the Knight of Swords. Kind of funny, we have the, the slowest one here, then we have the, the fastest one here. And he's going. And then the ride weight, uh, ride weight tarot, um, you see this guy charging in on this horse, and even the horse is looking back there saying, why are we going this fast? Okay, he's coming in with clarity. He's coming in with communication. He's coming in real quick. So, so far, Taurus, you're in your head about something that was probably more grounded, more stable, down to earth, structured, something you had security in. And you're mourning the loss of it. It's never easy, Taurus, but with every ending, there is a new beginning. And if this wasn't meant to be, maybe in time you'll see why it wasn't. It all makes sense. Because if you're in your head like this as you're crowning reading, it just doesn't make sense. Maybe that's why that night's coming in so quick to give you clarity. Because look at the glow on that sword. That's the sword of truth. As people see you in your environment, we have the Five of Wands. And right off the bat, Taurus, this is inner conflict. There is nobody else in this reading but you. No other people. This is something that you're going through. And it's definitely inner conflict. Now, what's in your environment, and I like to see this card when it's reversed, is the knight, excuse me, the nine of wands, excuse me, swords. Again, thoughts. We have eight, nine. Now, in the upright, this is agony. This is sleepless nights. Something in your head over and over and over again. You get it in the reverse, Taurus. This is releasing it, not feeding it. Coming to a conclusion. Nines are close to a completion, tens being a completion. So no matter wh whatever this was that was keeping you or holding you back, maybe there's a clarity that's gonna come in. And you're gonna see something that you didn't see before. And maybe it does start to make sense. Hopes and fears is the two of wands. This is being indecisive, not making a decision, turning a blind eye. Maybe there is something here, Taurus, this thing that you're going through that you can't get out of your head because it hurts. You're refusing to see it. Maybe you're Denying yourself an ending. It's something that you just don't want to see or believe. Now what we have as your outcome 
is the Ten of Swords. And this is feeling betrayed, deceived, backstabbed. I like to call it, I am all done. You did your damage. I'm out. Deuces. And it's 10. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of being trapped in your head. It's an end of the morning. It's the ending of the agony over and over. Why did it happen? How did I let it happen? Self-blame. But there's a news and there's clarity coming in for you, Taurus. I'm just going to clarify that Ten of Swords because that bothers me. Because I'm a Taurus too. So we need to elaborate on Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords outcome? Say no more. The lovers and the chariot. I usually pull three cards, but I don't even see the reason to because it says it all right here. Lovers, a deep connection. You get each other. Soulmate. And the lovers also goes in with the two of swords about decisions. In matters of love. And the chariot talks about moving on. A chariot will move when the black and white sphinx work with each other. Head over heart. Hope, fear. Now whatever these two things are that you need to tame. Because that chariot's not going anywhere unless you get it together and make them work and go forward. The chariot's a, a travel card. But I don't see this as a, like a physical move. I see this as moving on in your life. Closing this chapter. Because Taurus, it just... It doesn't serve you anymore. And it hurts. Especially when you have that deep connection with somebody that you've never had that with anybody else. But get out of your head, Taurus. Okay? Because whatever happened, it's now behind you. It's history. And you're going to have a new beginning. Without feeling restricted. Without feeling pain. Because Taurus, just remember that it's a lesson in life and understand what you learned from this experience so maybe you don't do it again maybe you don't let somebody do it to you again but you are moving on and you're getting better Taurus you will be better so that's what I have for you. Uh, please um, keep on liking, sharing, subscribing the videos. Um, I do do personal readings. All the information is in the box below. Um, and I have availability for the whole month of March, I do believe. So I will see you mid-March. Take care. Bye-bye.